Hickok 45, and I am your guardian. <laughs> Not your guardian angel, just your guardian. Yeah, I saw a desperado down there. A cowboy desperado took care of him. Yes, this is called the Dan Wesson Guardian. Yes, I think in a short video I call it the Vigil. Now I may call it that today. If I do, just slap me, okay? Uh, right through the computer or your TV or whatever, your phone. Because we did several videos on the Dan Wesson uh, Vigil. Okay, I got to get that out of my head. This is the Guardian and uh, it's mine. Happy to have it. So, yeah, this is the uh, Guardian. And can I, I load mags? I shouldn't have to do a lot of loading. And I just want to shoot this. This is the first time you've seen it in a real video. I think I brought it out on a Sunday shoot around uh, one day. It's been, I don't know, a month or two ago, maybe, or longer, right? So, you folks who watch the Sunday shoot arounds, you do have to put up a lot of blabbing, but uh, you get to see some interesting firearms occasionally, right? And, and an infinite amount of wisdom, right? So anyway, uh, I want to shoot it and talk about it. All right, it's a, it's a, uh, in a way, it's a bucket list firearm. It really is. Ah! <laughs> I started to shoot him on the move. I almost did. Let's hit a bowling pin right there. Did I hit it? Yeah, I did that time. Let's try an orange two liter. I think I had it bracketed. I went right and left. Let's try that one. Yeah. Now let's put one on the gong. If it's not gong worthy, it's yours. I'm going to give it away. Uh, I've noticed some of these magazines do not hold the uh, uh, slide back. All right. Good for testing flinch, though, isn't it? That sweet sound on the gong, that's always sweet. How about some bowling pins? Uh, I might just let him live, really. <laughs> I should have shot him first, so uh, he gets to live. All right. Uh, so none of the magazines that I'm shooting are holding the slide back, but uh, again, none of them are the mags that came with it. I just wanted you to see those big old 45s hit the uh, arms. Just a 45 ACP, 230 grain round, uh, tends to throw out a fair amount of energy and uh, things tend to move when, <laughs> when it hits. So it's always fun to shoot, whether you carry a 1911 or not. And none of these mags, you know, actually, I had the, uh, maybe in one of my pockets, but it is, the uh, Dan Wesson Mac. There it is. I knew I had it with me. Let's just load that one up and see. Uh, I don't know why none of the others seems to hold the mag back, but uh, these do. I've shot it with these. I had two of them came with it. And uh, you know, I, I really don't know where the other one is. It's, it's somewhere around here. But uh, flush mag, So and that's what I carry in it because I like a flush mag, generally speaking, and then maybe an extended mag to replace it with. Let's put a couple of these in my giant mag pouch here. So yeah, for carry, and uh, that's something I want to talk about. All right, let's see if this locks the slide back. What should we shoot? Trigger, great for smoking pot. What did I tell you? Blinking at cans, or popping two liters. <laughs> That one didn't hold it back either. So, you gunsmiths I was talking about, you potential gunsmiths, uh, let's get to work on that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is, I have talked over the years, some of you have been with us a long time. No, I like 1911s. I typically don't carry them that much. I used to a lot. And I, in recent years, I came to the conclusion that, you know, if I ever carried a 1911 again, what would, motivate me to do that would be if I found a really nice one in a commander size bobtail mainspring housing 
alloy frame, you know, for, for lightweight carry, alloy frame, it's not gonna be something I'm gonna put 20,000 rounds through necessarily, but lightweight frame. And then with uh, everything I want on it, but nothing I don't need. Okay, for example, a nice beaver tail like this one has. Nice check ring, front and back. This back strap, front strap. A nice trigger. Night sights, good sights. Uh, nice serration, you can grab. Not, no rail, nothing extra. Don't even want AMB controls on it, yeah. So this is uh, ideal. And the other thing, because I have had a bad history with alloy frames, uh, is I would want a ramped barrel or else a piece of real steel, you know, in the ramp on the frame or whatever. Now, some companies do that. This has the ramped barrel, right? You can. All right. So I'll shoot a little bit more and probably let you go. But uh, this, this is a nice configuration for a 1911. If you're going to carry it, it really is about 28 ounces, maybe and a half, I don't know. Which for a 19, big old 45, 1911, uh, that's pretty light. It's about as light as you can get because, uh, you know, the alloy, fr alloy frame allows it to be that light for you. You got night sights and it locks in really well with the check ring. I think it's 25 lines per inch. And again, this is the Guardian and some of those vigil yeah, vigil commercial, uh, commercials, vigil videos we did. Uh, I guess they were kind of a commercial because I liked that gun and I talked about it. And I even talked about it because I didn't know this one was available at the time that, wow, if I could find one of these vigils, you know, with a ramp barrel like that, an alloy frame and a commander link, this is a, this could be a great carry gun, something I would buy. You know, <laughs> I think I even said that. I just didn't know that, that they actually made one. Got to looking around. I think it's because it wasn't on their, their website as a new item. They discontinued this in 2019, as I understand. And that's why I had so much trouble finding one and then, and then buying it. I think I got it off a gun broker somewhere. I just couldn't find one, you know, but I did and uh, I bought it. So they ran for about 1600 bucks when they're available. I don't know if they still are. They make a, a model that has a officer's frame and the commander slide length, CCO, I think it is. And they make the full size. And of course this has a full size, uh, you know, grip. That's why it's, you know, using these standard magazines. So anyway, it's, it's a nice uh, 1911. If you ever thought you were gonna carry a 1911, this makes a great configuration, I think, whether it's Dan Wesson or, or somebody else. Some of the custom makers probably make the same configuration. I think uh, before we wrap up here, some big game needs to fall, don't you? Like that uh, ram over there on the left. Yeah, maybe that buffalo. <laughs> Maybe even the pig. Yeah, he didn't want to live without his buddies, the ram of buffalo close by. And I think there's a little cinder on that barrel. Let's see if we can uh, create a little dust. All right. Man, this thing is a nail driver. Let's try that square red plate over there. All right. Wow, let's see if I can miss. Let's shoot something close here real fast and miss. <laughs> oh, Nighthawk. That held the slide back. <laughs> you know what? I think I discovered that on another video, maybe. Let's try another Nighthawk magazine. There's a couple. Of, there's a variety of mags I got out here. I guess I used that one and it didn't. So, uh, I've got my cross draw holster here. I'm sorry, I can't tell you who makes that thing. I've had it for a while. So, uh, Kind of nice if you never tried cross draw. You got a cover garment and whatever, it's pretty handy. You can pull out and. <laughs> Did I use them already? Wow. I'm used to these high capacity firearms. They've spoiled me. They've spoiled me. Feels good. Yeah. 
That was the uh, Wilson Combat. That's a new one. I bought that in uh, New Mexico on a recent trip. So that held it back. I think I have another one. Yeah. So uh, uh, one thing about this, some, some firearms like this, I discovered, that's right, that was the other thing about the vigil, as I recall, you know, the Dan Wesson vigil. It did not have this bump here on the grip safety. Yeah, it didn't have the little bump here. And with my large hand, if you recall, and I haven't looked at that video, but I recall I couldn't uh, put my thumb up on the safety, click it off and pull the trigger. It was it locked up. I did, that did not enable enough pressure on that with my thumb up on the, the safety. And uh, that's the other thing I was looking for. I needed that safety with the bump on it. So you know, it enables me to put my thumb up on the safety if I want to, bring it up, click it off, pull the trigger. You know, to me that was that's kind of important because I sometimes do that. And whether it's tactical or not, I sometimes do that. Okay. Uh, so anyway. Uh, this is the gun I was looking for. I may never, well, actually I've carried it some. <laughs> I may have carried a lot, but if I want to carry a, a 1911, this is it. You know, this is it. It's been uh, utterly reliable and I had a hang up and I do have the, the slide issue, the magazine issue, not holding uh, the slide back. But as far as uh, everything is fed in a, a variety of magazines and a variety of ammo, we've got some hollow points. Let's try these, okay? Loaded up that mag with some federal hollow points just to make sure it will feed them. Okay, let's put it in the holster because when you got hollow points, you're ready for combat, right? Mr. Cowboy. <laughs> and then you just have to count your shots until you get your gun working, right? <laughs> Correct? So, uh, Dan Wesson Guardian, uh, again, it's out of production, but uh, I don't know, maybe it'll be back in production at some point, or maybe you can find something to, just like it. But those are the features that I like about this particular uh, firearm. And we've had really good experience with Dan Wesson, and I think most of you all have too. Uh, a really good gun, they're not cheap, but they're not crazy expensive, you know, like a lot of custom makers guns are. Uh, not, not to take anything away from them. There's a reason they cost more. There's a lot of hand fitting and, and all that. But, uh, but you know, these are all tool, you know, steel. As I understand, no MIM parts in any uh, Dan Wesson. Uh, and if you can live with an alloy frame, and I typically don't like alloy frames on 1911. I guess this is the only 1911 I have with an alloy frame. But for this purpose, a firearm I'm not going to try to shoot 50,000 times. It's just uh, a carry gun. When I'm in the mood to carry a 1911, uh, I've got my pretty much my ideal configuration, bobtail, and you know things that I talked about uh, on this firearm. So you might, you might, if it's a firearm you're interested in, you might find someone who makes one like it, with you know, whether it's Kimber or Wilson Combat, or you know with these features, uh, or Dan Wesson. You know, it, uh, it's a it's a nice configuration for a 1911 because it's not crazy heavy and uh, and I think they they made it in like 38 super nine millimeter 45 ACP and I just kind of wanted yeah I shoot a lot of nine millimeter I like nine millimeter just fine but in a 1911 I'm kind of partial to uh, uh, 45 if I'm, gonna, if I'm gonna go with that route so can I shoot it one more time and I'm gonna make you all leave okay before I bore you to death with the uh, with my pistol okay <laughs> the guardian uh, just just a nice piece of hardware from, from Dan Wesson. Negatives, uh, the grips are a little too thin for me. And I think I'm gonna probably replace those with some really aggressive, uh, I don't know, VZ grips or something. Now, I've, been, I've looked and it doesn't seem to be a wide selection of grips with, for the bobtail you know, frame. And, and uh, so I, I think that maybe a lot of people just buy standard grips and uh, dremel them down or, or something. I think I'm just gonna do that. But I want some really aggressive, nice looking, probably VZ grips because I've held enough of those to know, man, they lock in just like the checkering, just a little fatter than these. And I'll be very happy. It will be perfect. How's that? Because I do feel like the grips are a little thin, just a little thin. Let's put one in the chamber. 
you know, I said I was going to let that guy live. You know, I don't think I can do it. I just can't. I can't live up to my word on that, buddy. I'm sorry. So let's take aim. Yeah, put him out of his misery. <laughs> Fun to see those big 45 slugs do their thing. Let's end with one on the gong. There might be one in the chamber. There ain't no more in the magazine. So let's see if there is. Uh, there's not, we gotta put one in. Should I take a chance on one? Let's put two in. All right just to make sure we get to hear that ring. <laughs> All right. You too, cowboy. You get another dose of lead. <laughs> we know it's empty. So we got one flaw, don't we? It slide doesn't want to lock back. So uh, you gunsmiths out there, tell me exactly what that is, and what I need to fix it, okay? So I really like this configuration. I think you can tell, and I've had it, I've shot it some and not a lot, and uh, just, hey, we've not done a video with this, and uh, it's it's a really a, a favorite uh, 1911 of mine. It, it really is. So the Guardian, it's called. Again, it's not in production right now, uh, so, you know, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> But it's a it's a nice nice configuration you know whoever might make one of this configuration i think you would like it if you're contemplating carrying a 1911 and i don't know why you would but you might be no just kidding a lot of good reasons to carry 1911 a lot of people do so uh, i'll let you go it's been good to have you at the compound with us this evening life is good uh, all right it's a long walk from where i had to shoot that Oh man. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Since you're here, I want to let you know about our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. TalonGunGrips.com. Check out everything they have over there. You can get lots of different grips, the stick on grip textures for your handguns and rifle grips. So go check them out. Also, Ballastall, they're a firearms lubricant or anything else you might need lubricating. Uh, it's water soluble and non toxic. Been using it on the compound and cleaning all of our guns. It's a cleaner and a lube for over 10 years. So Ballastall, Talon Grips, definitely check both of those companies out. And also, while you're on the internet, don't forget to go to Hickok45.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Hickok45, Twitter, Hickok45, Instagram, The Real Hickok45. And also, I have an Instagram page where I post behind the scenes stuff and different things like that. John, J-O-H-N underscore H-I-C-K-O-K-4-5 on Instagram. And uh, the next thing you have to do is watch more videos.